welcome to my uh, weekly blog video tutorial week two it's a short one this week what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to add a color cast to your shadows now over the past year or so I've been trying to get a painting look to my images like the great artists used to use in their images and which some photographers use now uh, it's a it's not just one Thing what you need to do to get this effect it's loads of little things little processes so one of them is adding the color cast to shadows which I'll show you how to do now it's quick and easy so basically you've got your processed image you go up to selected color now when you get selected color up you've got a little bar here and if you click on it you can choose your yellows your greens whites neutrals we want to go for blacks blacks will be shadows so then once you've changed your colors to blacks then you've got these little sliders here now you can choose whichever you want to move I uh, my favorite at the moment is blue I, I feel it's the best for the painterly look and if you study artist works painters works you'll see that the shadows are never a, a, a full black they never jet black up they usually there is some color in the shadows which a lot of the time I think is blue dark blues so um, for these purposes I started adding a bit of blue into my shadow so all I have to do is you go down to yellow your opposite color to yellow is blue so if you pull it to the left as you can see it'll start to your shadows or your blacks will start to get blue in them now you can, it's up to you how far you want to go if you don't want to do anything like that because it looks just a little over the top <laughs> but I usually add around maybe 7 to start with and if I feel it needs any more I'll, uh, I might come and add an, a second selective colour adjustment layer later on now as you uh, pull to the left you are taking away some of the contrast which I quite like but if you wanted to add contrast back in if you go down to the slider that says black here click on it and then move it back to the right you'll get some more contrast back into the image but as it is I like I like it to lose a little bit of contrast now I just put that back to zero now you can always experiment and try different colors I mean red maybe doesn't work nope A little bit of magneto looks like uh, that's not too bad still prefer the blue I think it always looks better when you lose a little contrast with the color as well so as you can see you pull it to the left gives it a more painterly feel although even that feels a bit over the top but what you can do then is uh, go to your layer mask change your brush to black take a soft edge brush which will lower the opacity and then if you wanted to you could let's take the opacity up a bit just to get better you can then be selective of where the the, sh the blue shadows are Affected if you don't want some too much in the hair or on the hat, maybe take some out of the skin. I'll turn the brush right just to show you in this example. Yeah, obviously, you want to be a lot clearer, but you can do that if you want. Be more selective of where it affects and. So I will show you on this image, which I also use the same effect on. So once again, selective colour. I've already set to black because I've used it. Down to yellows. Adds about five, six in maybe. Six. I kind of just feel it. It adds that classic effect to the image. So that's it. Uh, try itself play around with the different colors I mean if you want you can play with the whites 
Change the light, not really doing much either. So that looks a bit top. Yeah, just experiment. So thanks a lot for watching.